hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel darlings if you're new welcome i'm really am pleased if you've just hopped over for the first time or for the first couple of times subscribe if you like hanging out with me and um, i'm sure we'll have some fun so today i'm just gonna show you a flip through of the journal i've just finished her name is just simply b okay um she's got a soft cover this one made from a real burberry 100 percent silk scarf um and like there's some wadding inside so like it says she's a little bit a little bit of a cuddler you know she's nice and soft um like i said beautiful beautiful silk and just screamed bee journal um this is the whole um cover we've got a lovely brooch there of a beautiful bee um and i've just added trims as you can see little cluster there some bits and bobs um and this is the closure it's all stitched in so it's not going anywhere and she closes like this and you can wrap this round i've left it very long so that wherever she goes if she gets filled right right up this is not going to be too short it's nice and long so what i do is just wrap it a couple of times and then like sort of pop it in into itself but yeah i left it long purposely so there's loads and loads of room right i can see something just fell out of its pocket where i'm winging it all about so this is my design team project for a crafty cat this month because um as well as my own i've used her bee journal kit the bee add-on kit um and lots of stuff from dioro um which is like golden um so yeah i think they're the they're the three that i've done but um yeah I, i've had loads of fun filling her up with all the bits and bobs so i've put a bookmark in the front there's some of my coffee dyed paper from the mocker and chai kit we've got a little flower down here and yeah the edith holden and some corrugated cardboard got a gorgeous gorgeous bee charm on a bit of chain that um sue my dear lovely sue hello babe she gifted this to me and yeah it's just gorgeous and so i've got done velvet like what's on the spine and it's a tuck here and the same at the back I left the back one empty so you can put your bits and bobs, papers in there, envelopes, what have you. And yeah, there's the um, end pockets or tucks, what you want to call them. So, B has 112 plus pages. Um, right, should have measured, should have measured. So, I'm just grabbing a ruler now. This size is like roughly A5. But with the cover and that, she is um, six and a half inches by um, nine and a half with the lace. Um, yeah, so she's quite a big girl. And like I said, there's 212 pages, but I said plus because there's like notepad and there's fold out pages and there's plenty plenty of room for more because she's got quite a lot going on but yeah still got loads of pages for you to write on stick photographs and that so this is from amy's kit and it is called b journal um and i've done a little um wax seal down here and it's got gilda's wax on it so you can see the lovely bee um i've done some stamping on here got a nice little honey pot um i dyed these with different alcohol inks um and i think i might have used a bit of um distress oxides as well i was going for it and i've got coffee on here as well but nice and like sort of the honey colors that i so so love and yeah nice um honeycomb shape we've got a bee stamped up there and this can all be folded out to journal on there's your little secret spot um and then yeah tuck it back in 
and we've got a couple of pockets there. I've got the right shapes today, sorry about that. So we just pop these in. I have to dry up it like that. And oops. We'll pop this one in there. And so yeah, they've got you we've got a little hive there and the bees. We've got a lovely, lovely flower down the bottom. Oh, and behind we've got a nice big card. This image is from Dioro. So I'll try and tell you where they're from as we go through. Um, here, this is from my Be In Your Bonnet kit. Um, and we've got this lovely, lovely, they're called Mother Nature cards. And this one says, May the brightness of the sun bring love and light into my life. And I just love the colours, thought it went really well. And I loved the little quote on the back, which is like sort of, their little sayings just kind of meditate on, you know, to kind of sit and think about while looking at the image. This is from My Be In Your Bonnet. This is from Amy's Bee Journal. I will just link her shop down below with where you can find all the bits. Oh, yeah, because I've done watercolour doodles um, kit I used as well. So this is from Dioro. We've got a lovely bee there. That's why I um, pulled this out, printed off ones that I didn't have. This is just a bit of scrapbook paper behind, what, like those flowers. But I've printed onto vellum that I used, you'll see in a minute. And I would filmed it and then deleted it by accident last night because I was tired. So I was devastated because I filmed a really good video and, yeah, deleted it. But, yeah, these are on vellum. So I just laid it over the top of this flower um, scrapbook paper and I thought they looked really lovely. This tag is from Amy's Watercolour Doodles kit. This is another one from Dioro. It was a different shape to Fussy Cut, but I just cut it out with that die because me and Fussy Cutting ain't best mates, really. So this is from Being Your Bonnet. I've got some old book page from a really old book. Amy's Bee Journal. This is just a bit of coffee dyed paper that's stitched around and it's... Um, I use all different papers. I was going to type this in a message to Siobhan, but I'll say it here because um, it's a bit long. I use normal copy paper. I use um, thicker 110 or 120 sometimes, even, um, I can't remember now. But yeah, I don't use anything below 100. Um, GSM and I also use parchment as well I like to mix it up with different feels different thicknesses and textures like the parchment feels completely different and that so I like to do that and of course vellum like I just showed you that's from the B add-on and this is another piece of that what I laid the vellum over and this is from my lily kit it's just an advertisement and that's from being bonnet and um yeah just i stitched that bit on mulberry paper got a nice deep um side pocket there and that is from my faux fabrics and it's where the stamp would be i've just done a little cluster and stitched it on and i stitched all around there we've got a lovely key that i rusted the other day and some nice coffee dyed paper to journal on and yeah that's a big a4 bit i've just folded it up nice to fit in here and yeah like I said um some of the bits will have the printed mocha and chai coffee dyed but a lot of them are ones that I've just done and used like the real paper so yeah stitch all around that I did say didn't I that's from faux fabrics this is from the be in your bonnet this is from Amy's bee journal um kit the mulberry paper we've got that pocket and yeah, I think that was just a little bit of ephemera I had. I've used a few of them throughout because I love them. This is from the Be In Your Bonnet and so is that image there. But it, I shrunk it and stuck it on here with the sheet music and whatnot. Just a little bit of something to look at. Be In Your Bonnet, more coffee dyed paper. We've got the word bees there. I've done a belly band here. This pattern of the coffee dyed is from my mocha and chai kit and then these bees were the png which is 
um, files that have got images on a clear background and Amy's put a couple of PNGs in the B journal add-on so you can print something out or have something already done like I did with this mocker and try and then I just printed put my paper back in and printed these bees and they're not on a background so now they're on my coffee and I love it I really love it so yeah I have that belly band there and that folds out sewn all around this is from Amy's the journal I'm sure yeah I think it is this is definitely from there and so are these two tags and it's a beautiful kit they are cute are they and the big fat bumbles I love them this is from being your bonnet I just did a little bit of made it look like this um, glittery chin like like a vine and I stuck some leaves and the leftover bit of vellum I used my tiny little um, I think it's either quarter of an inch or no half an inch half inch circle punch and I punched out a couple of them on the vellum and I've dotted them about in this journal they look wicked right so in here that is from Dioro that's just some scrapbook paper I had be in your bonnet be in your bonnet Dioro be in your bonnet and this was a little is it Mucha that art a little tiny replica I think it's called Mucha that art I might be pronouncing it wrong it might be Mushka something like that I think I'm pronouncing it wrong but come on you've all heard me I'll, do <laughs> I'll pronounce everything wrong right so that was that little fun pocket um, B journal from Amy being the bonnet that's another one of those I had this I cut it up from a bigger bit and I can't remember if it's mine or Amy's but yeah that was from a journaling card of one of ours and I stitched that little bit on for a little pocket and this pocket is from being your bonnet so I do get a bit mixed up once I've mixed up all the kits and things do you know what I mean especially where we did the same theme at the exact same time <laughs> right so we made this on camera the other day and this is um, I cut that from a page from Dioro and I tried to match up where the um, doily was on the page with a bit of my own and if you watched it you'll remember I started sticking it all in the wrong place and then we had to save ourselves right so in here we've got a notepad we've got these lovely bees on the and this slides right out and it's on a bit of um, scrapbook paper so you could use it and then take it out and then put a new one in because there's a slit and it just slides right in there for you to have a little notepad that's it back in its place then we've got this lovely pocket here got another one of those cards and i've just put it onto a tag um we've got this lovely image of that big fat bumble and it says may i comfort and care for others like bees tend to plants isn't that lovely that's really lovely so yeah there's some stamping some decoupage um some heat embossing we went for it didn't we the other day and then it opens out this way We've got some nice space for journaling with our dandelions and that this is from dioro from amy and then we've got some bee paper and be fabulous and you can journal in here be leave <laughs> and i've just done all this coloring with alcohol ink some coffee and i've got a lovely little leaf there on a bulb pin so that's that and shut that back up like that amy's be journal i think that's me um i'm not sure i think that's me being bonnet Dioro, just a little image I had and I put it on there. That's from um, Ben Bonnet, and so is this. And I just put some coffee dyed paper in there. And yeah, it's got a nice hive and lovely bumble. And yeah, these pockets in the Dioro kit are just gorgeous. I love them. More mulberry paper. We've got a tuck there with the lace and got this lovely journaling card and this little one with the B is from the Dioro I do remember that this is from my Mocker and Chai kit that's from being your bonnet 
normal coffee dyed what I did that is from Beanie Bonnet I've done a little tiny flower there and some little fabric and this fabric little tuck there just a little tiny one I thought it was cute I like the fabric as well oh pop that one back in that's from Faux Fabrics this is from Beanie Bonnet and then with the um, PNG of the bees I printed onto vellum right so look we've got windows and they're there on vellum aren't they gorgeous and then this is the other piece of my mocker and chai that then I printed the PNG over the top don't that look absolutely fabulous love it I absolutely love it and look they go back in here and they just join their mates look see <laughs> I made sure that none of them was overlapping so let's see if I've got the right ones in the right place no, I've put the wrong ones in the wrong place, I think, because I made sure none of them was touching. Yeah, that's it. Look, see? They're just flying around. It's gorgeous. And then, the, like I said, what I did on the other page, the little scrap that I had left, I just punched them out and dotted them. Like you saw on the other bit, I've just dotted more here and there. That's from being your bonnet and so is that. Got another little cluster up there, the lovely flower from Siobhan. Some Edith Holden and the same thing again. It's all one A4 piece that I've got. The tags and these couple of German cards all from the same one. It's got Edith Holden on the inside. And I did the same effect with this coffee dried paper with the belly band and folded it. So that's that. That's from Faux Fabrics. A little bit of sheet music. We've got another... Um, wax seal that I've give, put Gilda's wax on and a little ticket and some trim that I dyed with alcohol inks and then heated it up so it started to wrinkle I was trying to get it to do just wrinkle but and not go too much and set it on fire <laughs> and yes yeah, so I was really happy with that and the difference in the colour I just thought it was cool um, being your bonnet Watercolour Doodles from Amy, and this is her actual artwork that she, it's exactly what it says on the tin, Watercolour Doodles. How fabulous are these, with the bees and the poppies and the, the other flowers, they're absolutely amazing, I love them. She's my such a clever girl, she's a lovely friend as well. And I've got another little scrap of vellum that I had a spare bee going, so I thought, oh, I'll stick him on a bit of hessian there. Bit of sheet music, coffee dyed paper. Oh, that's from faux fabric. There's the other bit of coffee dyed, and then a nice deep pocket with a little flower there. And we've got more of Amy and my coffee dyed, and this lovely honeycomb paper. And then this one, and I think they're right, that's from Amy's. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm confused, <laughs> confused.com. Right, that and then there from being your bonnet. Um, oh, I like doing this. Got a little Tim Holtz flower, and I just glued at the edges. And look, there's a spare little bee, and another little one. That one was on paper, and that was one of the spare ones from vellum, and I just love them. Got a little pocket here from um, being your bonnet. Another little bee on vellum that I just put on. That one's from my kit. And they go in that little pocket. Faux fabric. We've got honey up there on a bit of fabric. And another one of those. But I didn't alcohol ink it. I just um, went round it with Distress Ink. We've got an actual um, a cigarette or tea. Um, John Player Special cigarette card there with lovely flowers on and this is journaling card from Be In Your Bonnet and then that pages as well Mocker and Chai lovely bit of mulberry paper here I think this is one of my favourite things that I've done in this journal I um, got this this is a old vintage doily right a knitted one and look these little bits of trim and that another piece of 
cotton doily and um, I made it into a pocket. I stuck them together and I just stuck round the edges and the bottom and got be yourself there and I think it makes a really cute pocket don't you? I was really, I don't know why but yeah I think this is my favourite bit and another one of them got some nice deep lace there and that is the end of B and it says all you want is bees and honey at Hastings and got a nice big bee there and so that is her she's really soft and um I'm a very tactile person I could sit and stroke her all day long she just feels so soft you can tell the quality of the silk is really good and yeah little bits of decor not too much because I just loved the fabric and I didn't want to cover too much of it up and yeah a little bee there and that's just a brooch you can unpin it if you want but I thought it looked nice in between the flowers so that is her thank you very much for watching um i hope you liked her i really really did enjoy working with all of amy's kits and going back like the new ones are the b ones and the watercolor doodles but dioro is from about a year ago but she had some lovely plant and flower and bee images in it and so i just had to use quite a bit of that kit in this journal so yeah i'll link her shop and everything down below i'm sure you already know it she's a lovely lovely wonderful person she makes wonderful wonderful things and i'm lucky enough to call her a good mate so isn't that lovely thank you very much for watching i love and appreciate you all i'll be back soon bye darlings bye